Hey guys, what's up? It's JP and I just got some gold and green quarry cats and I'm gonna acclimate right now to my 40 gallon and I'm just gonna let them chill and then I'll show you guys how to let them go. And you, these guys are pretty cool. Um, they get up to two inches or two inches and a half and they school very well together and they're pretty friendly fish and they actually look really, really cool. A little update on the Daniels. They actually got way bigger, the long fin ones, since we got them and they're actually really, really I mean, they swim around a lot and they're pretty cool to have in my tank. And then we also have that mystery snail that I got. I don't think I made a video on it, but I do have one. And he's chilling back here. I don't know if you can see him. He's right there on the flower. He's pretty cool. Then I have two little ones that I moved from my 10 gallon tank. So what I like to do is acclimate them for about 20 to 30 minutes and then I'll drop them in and then I'll show you guys what they look like. And I'll show you guys how to take them out. And make sure you never use the store's water because it's different from your water. I'll show you how to take them out and how to put them in a net and then put them inside. These guys are fairly big for their size. Uh, as you can see, this guy's pretty big. He's almost full grown. He'll probably get about another half inch. So that's really cool. And I got three of them because they're schooling fish. So that's really cool. And then they'll eat these types of food. I forgot what they're called, but I think it's called like extreme or something. But I'll make sure when I get the food, I'll show you guys. And they're really, really awesome. What I plan on doing is getting three albino of these or different types of them because these guys are really cool to me. I always liked them and I used to have them. One of them were, was actually one of my first fish I've ever had in the 10 gallon before I started YouTube. These guys can actually live up to, I think it's 74 degrees to 82 degrees. So right now my tank is at 78 to 80 degrees, which is perfect. So I'm really excited to have these guys. I mean, I've, I've wanted them for a while. I work at a fish store now and I've been keeping my eyes on him for a while and I finally decided to get him because my tank is actually finally cycled after I was having really bad nitrate and nitrate problems so what I actually did was I did a 50% water change and then I did 25% every day from then on and then the, ni uh, the nitrate went down and then I was just waiting for the nitrite to go down which took about three to four weeks and then I was able to add fish. So I added the Daniels and then I waited two weeks and the cycle was completely done so now it's completely done. And then as you can see, the snail is back there, the baby snail that I added. It's back there. It's pretty cool. Yeah. So now that my cycle is done, I'm, I plan on making this a community tank for about three to four months, maybe more. And then after three to four months, I plan on switching this all into a cichlid tank, maybe Tandanikins. I don't know. Uh, comment down below what you guys think I should do. And I'm gonna get live, uh, not live rock, that's for my salt water tank. But I do plan on getting a bio cube in the future. So comment down below if you guys think that's what to do. And I plan on getting a bio cube 32, 32 gallons. So that's not for later on, for like three or four months. But I do plan on upgrading this tank into a cichlid tank. And I forgot what rock it is, but I know it's good to have that rock. So I plan on taking all of this out and just having rocks and then having like. 8 to 12 uh, tendonikins or 8 to 12, I forgot what they're called, the different types of cichlids, but I'll find out. What I like to do when I add fish, I like to have aquarium salt just to calm them down and stress coat. So I add a little bit of this and aquarium salt so then it prevents ick. It doesn't 100% 100 per, 100 prevent ink, but it's really good to prevent it because when I got ick, it was so awful that it took out my whole tank that I never want to have it again. So guys, this is what I use, the net that I use. So what I do is I uh, poke a hole in the bag and then I big enough to get the fish out, I drench all the water in here and then the fish uh, end up being in here and then I add them. So I'll show you guys when I add them in. Alright guys, thanks for watching that video and I hope you guys enjoyed. Stay tuned for bigger and better things.